All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. Uh, the name of the video is, um, let's talk about Tupac. This is coming from uh, Bo the Fifth Column. Um, really quickly, guys, there's a lot going on with Tupac right now, so I was definitely surprised to hear that he actually uh, you know, spoke on him, for example. Right? Um, so there's a search warrant that uh, uh, Las Vegas right, decided to actually put out towards someone who we don't know. Right. Um, I hope it has something to do with Orlando Anderson, um, but you never know, guys. Right. Uh, but let's check it out. Let's see, what has, let's see what he has to say very specifically. Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about some news that broke yesterday that got overshadowed because of all of the other breaking news from yesterday and the speculation that occurred in normal times. In, in a in a calmer America with less political turmoil, right. this is something that would have been front page news, right? And it barely got any coverage. Um, He's not wrong, and it has to do with Tupac. Even people who do not listen to that genre of music, they know you know the name, right? Because he you was know. that formative; he mattered that much to that style of music. It wouldn't be the same without him. On September 7th, 1996, after a Tyson fight, I think, Go ahead. Tupac was killed. He was in a car and he was killed. And uh, there was an investigation, there were some leads, but over time, those leads turned cold. Fell off, yeah. Conspiracy theories developed. You know, he's still alive. A lot like Elvis. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, guys, Tupac is not alive. Um, there are a lot of people that say he, he is, guys. There are a lot of rumors. There are a lot of speculation. There are a lot of conspiracies. He's not wrong. Um, I leaned a lot towards what happened kind of before he was deleted inside the car sitting next to Suge Knight, guys. Um, Orlando Anderson was a very interesting individual, let's say. He was a criminal. He was a street thug, gang member type of person, guys, right? Uh, he just so kind of happened to be in uh, Las Vegas at that very specific time Tupac was. Uh, they got into a kerfuffle, let's say, um, while Tupac was leaving the Tyson fight, right? Um, and it just so happens that right after they get into a fight uh, and he basically got jumped, guys. Let's let's just get real. He, you saw Tupac basically, you know, hitting him as hard as he possibly could with, with you know, with his feet, bro. On, this is on camera. Um, and so I, like probably most of the people, will instantly think, okay, you just got into a fight with like a thug, bro, right? He's not going to let that go and you beat him, bro. He's not letting that go. So what did he do? He got into his car, found him on the, on the street, and and started firing at his car, bro. Uh, I am in that camp, and that is the uh, Orlando Anderson was the uh, was the person camp, guys. But all right, let's get it. For the same reason, mattered that much right. to that many people. And there was never a resolution, and it turned into a cold case. It's been more than a quarter of a century. Mm-hmm. Apparently, yesterday, Las Vegas Metro Police Department executed a search warrant on a home in Henderson. And the reporting says it had something to do with that investigation. Now, the cops are saying absolutely nothing beyond that. They're not, they are not disclosing anything. Right, they're not anything. saying nothing. It's too deep, uh, guys. They're not going to do that. And if you call... Apparently, you get transferred to somebody who's going to give you an answer, but you always get disconnected. Like, they're giving up nothing. Somebody who lived on the street uh, said that it wasn't just a normal search warrant. Uh, it was multiple cars, guns out, screaming into the house, come out unarmed oh. kind of search warrant. Oh, so that means probably soon someone is going to get the body cam footage because of freedom of information. I understand that this is a very touchy, very touchy, touchy situation, guys. Right? But I do think that eventually we will probably see on like one of those police watch channels or something like that, guys, uh, the actual footage of that incident. So we got, I guess we have to kind of keep our ears to the, uh, uh, the, the YouTube streets, guys. The people inside reportedly complied and they came out 
and the search was conducted. But that's it. No other information. Uh, there's no sign as to what it was. they were looking for, what right. they hoped to find, wh what they uh, discovered that sent them in a new direction after all of this time. Right. But there is some kind of movement on it. Um, I wonder what happened that kind of made them this, uh, reignite it. This is one of those things that for a lot of people, people I know who were huge fans of his music, when it happened and the investigation just kind of fizzled out, for a whole lot of them, it was not a surprise. They expected it because, well, the cops don't care about people that look like them. Whoa. Those attitudes, at least mm -hmm. among my friends, uh, going with have definitely friend? hardened over the years, mainly because of, well, everything we see on cell phone videos. Um, okay. The fact that this investigation is apparently moving forward after all of this time, it's not going to do much to change that. No, I don't think so. But it was a instance. moment in time where a whole lot of people looked at somebody who was a celebrity, who was well-known. But because of the circumstances of his death, the perception very much was cops don't even care. Um, Guys, they looked into this case for a really long time. And not just this case. Also the Biggie case, right? Um, they, uh, when I mean a long time, decades, guys, right? They even made a, uh, a documentary kind of about it for Netflix. Uh, that was a couple of parts also. Uh, they have been talking about this, like in, like in, I guess in the, the, the police circles, I'm guessing, right? Uh, specifically in the, uh, with the agencies that were a part of, uh, I guess where it happened on both ends of things, guys, right? For a very, very long time, guys, um, I would not say that it just went away overnight, guys. And again, this probably isn't going to change that because there has been a, a mountain of other evidence since then that reinforces that opinion. But I think that there's a lot of people who uh, drew inspiration from him in one way or another. Absolutely, there, did. there was. That Look, there are. On actually. some level are probably happy that the investigation is continuing. Now, where it goes from here, we don't have a clue because we don't know anything. They won't tell us anything. <laughs> um, but getting a search warrant that was executed in that manner after all of that time... Yeah, it's, they have something. It was probably something pretty concrete. Right that led them to believe there was yeah. something in that building. hundred percent. hundred percent. Well, you have to wait to see if uh, they found it and how meaningful it really is when it comes to the investigation. Well, this man's wearing a poetic justice shirt. I see you, bro. I see you. I know the shirt exactly. Like right underneath the second uh, poetic justice, the second row of it, uh, is Tupac's face. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day. All right, all right, all right. Like, so there's something interesting regarding uh, Tupac for me. Um, so I grew up in New York in the 90s, guys. Like, Tupac was not someone that I would have ever listened to. Like, I mean that. Like, very specifically in the 90s, it was Biggie, Smalls, or, or nothing. Notorious B.I.G. It was, it was that or nothing, bro. If that makes any sense, guys. Like, we definitely picked sides in that battle, bro. Uh, it took me probably, honestly, bro, like maybe two years ago. Like, the first time I actually sat and listened to anything Tupac had to say, the first time. Um, you know, I mean, that's how ingrained it was into me. And I'm a hip-hop head to the depth of me, guys. Um, you know, and so listening to Tupac, I was just like, okay, listen, he definitely has something here. Right. Um, I love the fact that he has the ability to like speak so poetically regarding kind of how he was raised. Right. And why he thinks things are the way they are. Um, and like just like this, this activist minded individual that would exclusively speak to his truths and his truths alone. Right. Um, but he would say everything that he says with such conviction um, that I think it made him brilliant. It makes him his music brilliant, 
right? This is probably the reason why so many people want me to listen to a lot more of his music. If I look up my donation list, uh, like specifically for um, the my music reaction channel, guys. Yeah, Tupac is basically in rotation over there, guys. <laughs> it is. It just is, um, and that's just because of uh, I guess uh, the love people ha actually have for him. I respect it, guys, right? And, you know, listening to him for the first time, guys, I was like, bro, I feel like I've been missing something. Uh, it felt like there was, uh, like, a hole in hip-hop, guys, for me, right? And uh, we definitely plugged it with uh, a good amount of his music, guys. But, all right, listen, um, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.